I am Madam Fatma Tababaro, the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia and also the President of the AFLAM, which means the African First Lady's Peace Mission. Uh, my name is Joyce Banda. I'm the former President of Malawi, the African First Lady's Peace uh, Centre. I am on the board of trustees. I am here to sign an MOU between my, uh, our organisation and your institution. Coming into the building alone will tell you that these people are serious. That's the reason why we are here, because we want to learn from you. And you also can learn from us, because sometimes you can learn from people's mistakes. Africa must take pride first, that we've not done badly. Um, we have had six residents, female, and we are waiting for a seventh one this year. I know some democracies that are as old as 200 years. They're still trying to get one woman into state house. So from that perspective, we've done well, but we have a long, long way to go. And that is the reason why some of us must continue to work. We were leaders even before colonization. In fact, when you read some uh, literature, they say that it is colonization that delayed us. We led our nations before that. Yeah, so what happened is then for the long, longest time, we were not allowed to participate. What happened during uh, now the fight for freedom, our brothers, our brothers fighting, we stood by their side. We fought along. What we are saying now is that you don't have to open space for the first time. We just want to get back to the table. We want to continue to participate in leadership. We don't have any mineral resources in our country, but we have peace. And it's because of the way we were brought up in our families that was the reason why when I was deliberating earlier on, I said we should nurture the young ones, start it from the bottom top and approach that will be the best approach for us. As first ladies, we are just advocates and we will leave our positions, but those young ones will ever be there, especially the girl child. I am so inspired. It's the first time women have stood up and said we will not just sit back and wait for handouts. We will do something about the situation. And the African Union, fortunately, has recognized the center for the efforts that it has made this far. What this partnership will do now is to strengthen the men and women that will work in that institute, both technical support and, and, and training, in order to meet the challenge that awaits us. I mean, just five years ago, we were so proud that Africa had come out of all the conflicts. Look at us now. So we need to continue to move to parallel to that whatever is going there that is negative and building this critical mass that will confront uh, those conflicts.